the news that um, Will Keane could be out for as long as a year and also Hernandez out for a month. That must be a massive blow to the club. Yeah, that's a big blow, especially with Will Keane. Uh, I think that's very sad. He is uh, working really hard, looking very good, and uh, he's a great lad. And to be out for, for that long, it's, uh, that's, that's tough. And also, he's, he's had that injury before, so he's only 23. That's very sad for him, isn't it? Yeah, really. I, uh, I texted him uh, late yesterday when I knew how, how bad it was, and uh, he was devastated. And um, yeah, we just have to back him up and, and help him every day. Uh, it's going to be tough for him, but uh, I'm pretty sure he will come strong back from it. I'm, I'm sure the managers will now be looking to mm. try and get some striker cover in January. I mean, that's going to be an important sort of additions to make to the club, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so as well. Uh, now we only have one fit striker uh, and uh, I think it's only one game for, for Diomanda left and also the same for Hernandez. So um, then we have all the strikers except Will, uh, so then it looks better. But uh, at the moment we have to trust uh, Mbukani. It was always your ambition to play in the English Premier League. I mean, how has it lived up to your expectations, would you say? I would say top. I mean, uh, you see yeah, the crowd, the fields, uh, the training facilities, uh, everything is, is top, top class. And you also see, I think we have the best players in the world. Uh, and uh, that's why I wanted to play her. So, so far it has been great. But, but I guess playing in the Norwegian League and then the Dutch League is, <laughs> is good training for, for the Premier League, is it? Yeah, I have to, I have to say, when, I, was, uh, when I, um, I, played, I played three years in Norway and I was really... Um, I wanted to take step by step and that's why I thought it was better to go, instead of go directly to the Premier League, for example, to go to the Dutch League uh, and play and uh, be more grown up in my way of playing and um, so I was there for four years and then I felt really ready for the next step and uh, I think the way I have, uh, have done it has been very good for my career. What is the biggest difference between Dutch football and the, and the Premier League would you say? I would say it's the game never stops if you know what I mean. I mean uh, for example if you have the one or two zero lead in, in Holland you can keep the ball, you can relax a little bit more but, but that's not possible here in the Premier League. I mean. Uh, uh, everything can happen through the 90 minutes and, um, and the intensity is much higher and uh, yeah, that's what I like. Okay, what about the difference between the Premier League and international football? Uh, the, how do the two compare? Oh, it, it depends what kind of uh, country you are meeting, of course. Uh, but I mean, you have so many great sides now, also international. Uh, I mean, we played against Azerbaijan. Everybody thinks we're going to win, but we lost. Uh, it's a tough side. So, uh, I mean, the football everywhere has, has stepped up. So it's, it's tough. It's really tough everywhere. What's the favourite moment of your career so far, do you think? Uh, my favourite moment? Uh, that's probably uh, when I won the cup uh, with Aset Alkmaar. And what was your Premier League debut like? What are your memories of it? You, you obviously here with how what was uh, what was your debut like? Uh, if I if I doesn't take wrong, I think my debut was against Liverpool away. Uh, um, it was just to we have already lost the game when I came in, uh, but it was to to take all the nice uh, the atmosphere, the crowd, the stadium. Yeah, you have heard so much about Anfield, and uh, so you just had to I just had to go out and enjoy it.